A plan to reinvigorate rural Ireland, encouraging people to live and work in small towns and villages across the country. It was launched today at Crow Park. This is government giving a message to people that we want to help you. If you want to work and you want to work remotely, you want to live in rural Ireland, we want to help you do that and we want to facilitate it. The Rural Development Policy contains more than 150 commitments. Some are already announced and underway. It commits to have 400 remote working hubs, to have 20% of the public sector working remotely by the end of this year, improve rural public transport services, seek to accelerate the national broadband plan and invest in a national outdoor recreation strategy. But what's committed to on paper and what becomes a reality are two different things, opposition say. Some criticise the plan for rehashing old promises. Others welcome the strategy. There is nothing new for rural communities in this, almost at all. Apart from, as I say, that proviso that people who currently work in Dublin will be able to work closer um, to home in the same jobs. Yes, that's welcome, but that isn't what's actually needed. What we need is a vision for rural communities. I do not want a countryside that is full of briars, badgers and bullocks. I want it to be full of people, of families. And the only way we can do that is by providing proper broadband services and housing for those people. The Department of Rural and Community Development is also looking at the possibility of small targeted grants to encourage people to relocate to towns and villages. The government say that the Rural Development Policy will be reviewed every six months to assess the progress made. Tommy Meskell, RTE News, Leinster House.